Hi guys, so today let's talk about haircut plus hair color for classics and soft classics. If you're new to my channel, I have a huge Kibi Body Types playlist, I'm gonna leave the link down below. Also, you probably wanna watch this video that I did not so long ago, where I talk about haircut plus hair color and how they interact with each other. Because not every hair color suits to every haircut and what they do to each other, how they change sometimes the perception of the texture of the hair. So those are basic rules. Today we are being more specific about the types. So why I chose to do classic and soft classic together, just because Kibi doesn't use pure types anymore and some that were types like classics before, they got retyped to soft classics. So I decided to combine them together and also the recommendations are quite similar for these two types. We're gonna talk about them both today, but mostly about soft classics. If you consider yourself a classic, probably that would also fit to you. So here's what David Kibi says about haircut for classics. Your hair should always be smooth, sleek, and well-groomed. Blunt edged cuts work best to achieve the even control necessary to complete your look. If your hair is extremely curly, you will need some layering with the curl so it falls in controlled waves. Moderate length is best. You might not look as good with severe cuts, cropped boyish cuts, overly layered cuts, wild hair, trendy hair, ornate or lavish hair, stiff teased hair. Hear what he says about hair color for classics. You should strive for a natural and rich hair color. Be very subtle in color changes so the effect is realistic. Use low lights and soft sprays of color instead of highlights and dramatic streaking. You might not look as good in overly theatrical hair colors. Blue, black, platinum, fiery red, unless that is your original color. And hear what he says about haircut for soft classics. Hair should be controlled, smooth and soft, an elegantly clean outline with curved edges. Curls and waves are lovely as long as they aren't overly teased or cascading. A well-kept and meticulously groomed style is essential. Blunt cuts may be best and a very subtle layering to frame the face is important. Lengths should be moderate to long, but the longer your hair, the more likely it will require setting to retain the stylization necessary for your feminine, sophisticated look. Likewise, if you opt for perms or processing, you will have to do some extra styling with hot rollers or a curling iron, for example, to maintain a controlled style. As far as this book Metamorphosis is from the 80s, this is approximately how that looked in the 80s. It's quite rare women do perms nowadays. Probably now that would look something like this. An unkempt or uncared for hairstyle will spoil your total look more quickly than any other element of your appearance. You also might not look as good in severe geometric styles, overly layered wild or mane-like styles, overly ornate teased styles, wash and wear styles, boyishly cropped styles. Hear what he says about hair color for soft classics. Hair color should be soft and luxurious. Realistic and natural colors are best. Don't stray far from your natural hair color. Lightening your hair a shade or brightening it a shade is possible if your original color is blonde, red or medium brown. You might also choose subtle low lights if your hair is in these color ranges. In general, if you're a high contrast person, you will need the richness and depth from an overall color process. If you're a low contrast person, you may find a subtle highlight quite effective to add a little shimmer. Brunettes should always avoid lightening or highlights because the result is very aging and tiring. The highlights will either mute down your hair color, which will fade you, or overly brighten your coloring and give a brassy effect. You might not look as good in unrealistic or theatrical hair colors, blue, black, fiery red, platinum blonde, or over streaked hair. Now let's look at the examples of some celebrities. In the beginning, we all looked at Grace Kelly as classic. Later, David Kibbe put her to soft classic category. It was 50s, then it was 60s, but her hairstyle and hair color still looks timeless. Her hair color was always very calm. Yes, she slightly lightened her hair. Sometimes she would go for lighter blonde, sometimes for darker blonde. She always had this very tidy hairstyle, slightly rounded. She was never having any hair sticking out. She always had wave to wave, curl to curl. Sometimes she would make her hair sleek to the back. Normally classics look amazing with that hairstyle. Sometimes she would make an updo. And this updo also was very, very tidy. As she got older, she still was having this very tidy blonde bob. Sometimes more straight blowout, sometimes more curly or wavy. If she would make an updo, nothing was sticking out, everything was perfectly made. But in my personal opinion, this red hair doesn't suit her as good as blonde. 
Diana Sawyer used to be in Kibi Celebrities list as pure classic. She also used to have whether blunt bob or longer hair. It is never too geometric. It is always whether slightly rounded or curly. Again, we can see curl by curl. Nothing is sticking out. No untidiness. And Diana didn't go far from her natural hair color, so she used to be blonde. She probably was brightening her blonde with bleach, and I like it on her. I think it suits her blue eyes and light skin. Let's go to Naomi Watts. She is a soft classic in David Kibbe's celebrities list. We can see that when she was young, she had quite light hair still. It probably was slightly ashy blonde. Then later in the 90s, of course, we remember that type of a hairstyle. I myself had this hairstyle in 2000s. That bright money piece, that back combed hair slightly to the back, that side sweat long bangs. That was very trendy. It was slightly 90s supermodel thing, including makeup as well. But as far as it's quite tidy, it's not wild looking, I like it. This hair, amazing color, amazing length, a little bit too untidy for me. If she would just comb it, it would be perfect. Here is probably from one of the movies. First thing that I don't like, but maybe it's just a photo, that her roots are slightly lighter than the rest of her hair. I'm not sure if it's a wig, but just in general, I think this hair is not making her shine. It's a little bit too dull for her, particularly, not only for her coloration, but for her being a soft classic. I think it's a bit too harsh, too separate from her, including this hair that is not very tidy looking. Here it's a little bit better. Blunt bob with curl to curl or wave to wave. The shape itself looks tidier on her, on classics in general, so it's better. But still the color is a little bit too heavy for me. Normally it needs heavier makeup, heavier brows, and that can make their faces harsher. Prostitute look doesn't look quite nice on soft classics especially. Here she has this bright theatrical red hair color. Of course we don't see her face, but the hair color is way too bright for her still. You can already see this even on these pictures. Of course this kind of clothes is not for soft classics, it kills their elegance. Maybe it could look more funky and cool on some other types, but not on her of course. Also, her hair is quite untidy here. This hair is one of my favorites for her. I think this platinum blonde or ashy blonde with more natural roots and slightly lighter on the ends, along with this blunt bob, looks stunning on her. Some people might say it's slightly too straight and severe. I don't think so. I think it looks very clean, very beautiful on her. I still feel like more platinum blonde gives her a bit more freshness. And of course, very often she used to have this long hair. Again, when it's curl to curl, it looks a bit better. They look great with long hair, styled softly. Now let's go to a brunette. Marion Cotillard. Naturally, she has quite dark hair, dark brown. Her skin and eyes, however, are quite light. In my viewpoint, she's a little bit cooler in coloration. Now, she experimented a lot with her hair color and hair cut, so we can check a lot of different examples. That's her with that extremely contrasted balayage, including these untidy beachy waves. So normally on soft classics, that just doesn't look nice. I can't say it's bad, but normally just doesn't do anything to them. Normally it's just distracting us from their balanced features, from that class classic beauty. We just feel it slightly dirty, noisy. We just want to wash it off, clean it up. Same here. Normally they don't look that bad actually with some side parting or asymmetry in the hair, but when the asymmetry is so obvious, so intense, this is where we start having the same problem. Very noisy, heavy, way too contrasted for her. That platinum blonde, darker roots, the hairstyle itself doesn't make any sense. It doesn't give her funkiness. Here is better because it's quite sleek, blunt bob. So the hairstyle I like. Hair color though still looks untidy. Those dark grown roots with those bleached ends. On some other types, again, that would look amazing, very funky and very sexy. On her, that looks slightly dirty and untidy. This is the brassy stage. Again, when brunettes try to go blonder, sometimes they go through this brassy stage. When the hair is not blonde yet, it has this orangey yellowish hair color and brassy hair color is not same as warm blonde. Those are two absolutely different hair colors. Brassy hair normally has this greenish, dirty undertone in them, which is not flattering for nearly any skin tone. Normally it accentuates green tones in skin. So if a person has olive skin or a little bit of green undertone somewhere on their face, normally this hair color really accentuates it. And we only talk about color now. If we talk about her being soft classic, that is even more important 
not to do it and stick more to your natural hair color. So here we can see the hairstyle itself is quite untidy. This is what they normally don't look as good in. Makeup though, clothes, is great. We just need to change the hair. That is black wig on her and also this lips is fake, of course. She didn't inject her lips. We can see here how lips also are adding absolutely different vibe to soft classics and normally making them very vulgar looking. Their face is much more delicate. Their beauty is much more balanced than this. So all this additional flash just looks so alien on their faces and just cheapens their look very much. Of course, along with this black hair, if she didn't have any lips here, still this hair would be a little bit too heavy for her in my viewpoint so she would have to have darker makeup her brows also tell us that she is much more delicate in hair texture the wig texture of course we can see is too heavy for her so all that is a bit too much here her hair color is absolutely stunning beautiful rich dark brown looks like it's her natural hair color haircuts though it's not something that normally looks good on soft classics now here we have beautifully made pictures with amazing lighting it's a certain stylization it's a certain clothes so it can be quite flattering basically you can make anyone look amazing with any hairstyle and hair color almost if the picture is done professionally you're creating a certain image on the picture picture is not moving if we saw her in real life with this kind of a hair whether on the right or on the left that shaggy hairstyle too layered for them too untidy for them same here i like it on her though it looks quite interesting but it's picture it's makeup it's the lighting lighting here is amazing look at her skin look at her eyes look at that pale pink color look at her lips overall that's not bad but again if we see her in real life we just will see the hair it will not blend with her personality it will not blend with the way she talks the way she walks here we have this brassy hair again, also striped, which was very popular in the 90s and 2000s. Hairstyle, though, is absolutely stunning. Makeup, amazing. It gives us, again, slightly 1920s vibe, but the hair color is a no-no, also way too warm for her. Here, amazing blunt bob. Hair color, I don't like it just because, first, it's too far from her coloration. Her natural hair color is still brown. We need that depth. Number two. She has yellow roots, bleached ends, so it looks untidy, undone. Number three, it looks slightly wet. So when it looks wet with yellow roots, normally it gives us appearance of a greasy hair. Number four, I don't like the hairstyle. It's way too untidy. If she had her own hair color, this untidiness already would not be that visible. Here she has this bleached blonde. On the left, it's more untidy. On the right, it's much more tidy. So on the right because we have this beautiful soft classic makeup, soft classic hairstyle, and soft classic dress. It's not looking bad. If she had her own hair color there, it would look better. On the left, this bleached blonde doesn't look that bad on her just because it's on a cooler side now, and yellow blonde looked much worse on her, but it's way too untidy, plus this grown roots. Here, the hairstyle is amazing. Her makeup is great. Hair color, though, in my viewpoint, it's a little bit too dark, too heavy on her. But because we have this hairstyle and that makeup and that particular photo that was made amazingly, that works. Here, bam, back to her natural hair color. Her hair is quite tidy. It's on the back. It's quite sleek, beautiful makeup. I think she looks great here. Here, I think she absolutely shines. Beautiful, soft, classic hair, amazing color. It's her own color, great makeup, great clothes. I know this is a movie, I think about 40s or something. Amazing. Kirsten Dunst. When she was a kid, she was blonde. Her eyes are blue, her skin is quite light. Then she was redhead. We all remember that. Not bad, but in my viewpoint, it's a little bit too bright on her. I think she looks much better with cooler blonde, closer to her natural color. I like the hairstyle. That's her being brunette. I'm not sure, maybe it was for the movie. Could be a wig. Too heavy for her. You can see much darker makeup. Her brows are quite light and quite thin, though. Normally, they look quite tired with that kind of a change. Hairstyle itself is great, though. That's her with blonde. In this case, it's a warm blonde. I don't think it's too brassy looking, but still, in my viewpoint, slightly too warm for her. Hairstyle, I prefer a little bit tidier. On the right is better, I think. But if she had more platinum blonde or more cool blonde, it would be better in my viewpoint. I like the makeup. Here, her hair is more like natural as hair. Still, she would look a little bit better with tidier hair. The colors are nice. Again, I would prefer something cooler, but still, she's blonde, so it's nice. I don't like the dress on the right. Probably that is 2000s. 
The dress on the left is perfect for soft classics. I think it's gorgeous, beautiful color and suits her so well. Here, I would not do this money piece on her hair. I would go for overall light blonde color, but I like the hairstyle. Her hair is tidy, nothing is sticking out. She looks amazing with sleek hair. Here she has this lion's mane, too untidy. I think if she was soft natural or flamboyant natural, that would look great. Again, this is pictures. So for this pictures, the right one is a soft one with soft lighting, much softer done. The left one is very harsh with leather there, so it's more rocky. It doesn't look bad on this particular picture. One of the reasons is because her hair is long. Another reason is because it's blonde and that suits to her. Another reason is the makeup is done. It's a little bit too harsh, but it's quite on the border. It's still done pretty well and her lips are very nude. Her skin looks amazing. Everything looks quite clean. This is saving the situation. If that wasn't real life, we could see her real skin, that makeup would be a little bit too harsh, that hair would be a little bit too untidy, and maybe overall color on the hair would look a little bit better than this balayage. This is one of my favorite looks on her, this blunt, very light blonde. I don't like the makeup in the center. I think it's too red for her. I think if that was just taupe, brown, or slightly grayish, more in her coloration, that would look much better. I love the dresses, I love the outfits, I love the hairstyle and the color of the hair. Here she has this long hair and it's done in quite classic way. Nothing is sticking out, it's not super untidy. Even the picture on the left, I like it. It looks quite clean. With that makeup, with that outfit, this is not photo session, so we can actually see the natural shadows on her face and it looks quite clean. In the center and on the right, they styled her hair exactly like for soft classics. So of course, you're not gonna go like that every day, but sometimes for going out, that is a perfect thing to do. In the center, her hair is a little bit more on the yellower side, but still the color is overall. Everything looks quite clean, so I like it. Now let's look at Denis Benton. On this pictures, let's look at the outline of her hair. It's a little bit untidy, it's a little bit sticking out. So normally for soft classics, it's not the best way to style their hair. As soon as their hair outline is more smooth looking, that looks amazing. Whether she goes for a sleek hairstyle, whether she goes for that afro, or she goes for that Disney princess kind of a hairstyle in the center. All that looks great on soft classics. Basically, if you just comb it, make it more tidy and make sure nothing is sticking out, you're good. And the hair she has is always her natural hair color, which makes her look very elegant and very expensive. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that was interesting. See you very soon. Bye-bye.